Well, good morning, everybody. Um, we're back after taking about a week out. Um, we just want to bring you this broadcast today. This is David and Wanda live from our lounge in Pocono, New Zealand. And today we want to tell you why we have taken a bit of a short break and what happened. Um, I am very grateful <laughs> and honoured and um, blessed that my husband is sitting next to me today. He um, He had a bit of a short overnight stay in the hospital, in Middlemore Hospital in um, Auckland, New Zealand last week. So today we want to talk a bit about that and we want to thank those um, who has gone through this with us and supported us through this. So I'll just um, ask you, do you want to just explain what happened to you and why you ended up in hospital maybe and sort of start there? Yeah, so uh, good morning, everyone. Um, just before I start, I just want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart um, for all your prayers and well wishes and um, for me. Um, and um, obviously, this is a testimony in regards to how all your prayers and all your kind words that um, were sent to me has absolutely... Um, been with me in times where I wasn't actually feeling very well at all. Um, it, it basically started when the doctor said to me a few um, weeks ago now that he wanted to try and reduce some of my medication on um, high blood pressure and things that I've suffered from for a while. Um, so we went down to one pill and obviously to do that they just wanted to make sure that it was safe by monitoring my blood pressure which um, they did. Unfortunately, when I went back to say that was obviously pretty good, they said, no, it wasn't. Um, and then they wanted to take a scan of my heart and um, the scan showed that there was uh, some things that weren't absolutely right with it, especially how it was pumping. Um, and then they gave me some other medication. But anyway, to cut a long story short, I ended up on last... Thursday morning with a massive um, headache about three o'clock in the morning. So, and it, it just never disappeared. It wouldn't go even if I did Panadol or even my Tramadol. Um, and so the specialist her cardiologist said I needed to go to hospital straight away because they suspected it might be a uh, stroke or a bleed, I think it's... They were going to check for mm. a bleed, weren't they? Mm. So I think it was just um, the cardiologist said he wanted a CT scan of mm. your head, wasn't it? Mm. Which is really what made mm. us think, oh, my goodness, we mm. need to... Um, this is a bit more serious than we thought. Um, yeah. Yeah, so um, here I was in Middlemore Hospital. I had to have a scan uh, with regards to seeing whether there was a bleed. And about a couple of hours before um, I had the scan... I had this amazing discernment of prayer of everybody's words and mm. that I was being mm. healed. Mm. And I stood on that and... and yeah, you, you were in a peace, weren't you? There was a yeah. peace that, that came over you. Yeah. I mean, you were pretty much get me out of here kind of thing. I don't oh, think yeah. I need to be here. I'm wasting yep. people's time. Yep. And then... Um, Mm. Yeah, and then you just said something is happening. You felt it. You literally mm. felt the prayers. And it was just, you know, it was just something I hadn't actually felt before um, yeah. with regards to I had this warmth, I had this feeling, and it was I knew that something was happening to me. Mm. Um, and wow. then I, about an hour later I went to have the scan. Wow. And whilst I was in the scan, I said, the Lord, through your stripes, <laughs> you are healed. Um yeah and no weapon formed against us can ever prosper. Mm -hmm. And I said that as this machine was going around my head um, probably over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, so then I went back to the um, ward, whatever they call mm -hmm. it, um, and then I prayed the Lord's Prayer, uh, the trauma prayer. Now, for those who... The never, Lord's Prayer or the oh, trauma the, prayer? It called, sorry, it's called the trauma prayer. Oh, right. Um, and uh, played that over and over for 20, 25 minutes at a time because uh, there was a guy snoring next to me, <laughs> by the way. So I'm never going to complain about ever snoring again. <laughs> um, yeah, and sure enough, the next day 
Uh, well, actually, the results. When did you hear the results? Then in the in the morning, in the probably morning. In, about two o'clock in the morning, actually. Wow. Okay. So they came and told me that um, everything was was there was no bleed on the brain, um, and they couldn't really find anything. They couldn't really they, find anything. Yeah. Except is, my blood pressure, has, <laughs> which is, is, has was the issue, is also was was out of control. But the reality is that particular um, side of my where the, um, the potential headache was, was uh, healed. Healed, yes. And praise I just, God. I just praise, praise the God. Lord yeah. for all of that and for all the prayers that people say. Anybody that tells you out there that prayer is not powerful, I mm. renounce that in the name of Jesus. Mm. And that is from the, that is from the actual... Uh, that is not true. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so, so let's look at when we talk about what is not true, let's look at James 5.16. Um, I'm going to just start reading. Um, it's it's the, the, the second part of James 5, the earnest out of the Amplified Bible. The earnest, heartfelt, continued prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available. Mm -hmm. It is dynamic and it's working. And mm -hmm. We just want to say to everybody that has prayed for David, everybody that has lifted him up in prayer, everybody that um, when we said he is in hospital, when we knew this was a potential concern for the cardiologist, like those what they call thunderclap um, headaches, headaches mm. um, is really it could be potentially a stroke, um, could be a bleed somewhere or aneurysms um, mm. developing or, mm. you know, just little tears starting to happen in the brain. So we just want to say, in this instance, I saw David being in total, total peace. And he said to me, he's never felt this before. He's never experienced this before, but he knows. Um, get all welled up. He knows that people were praying for him. He felt that. Absolutely. And, and for us, you know, you're sitting there and, and all you have is your faith. All you have is each other. All you have is... God, what is happening? Mm. And um, mm. and for him to stand on, on the scriptures, stand on the promises of God, we want to thank everybody that has prayed. We want to thank um, Etienne Blom in South Africa, our mentor. We know he was praying. Mm. We want to thank Cheryl Davies in Scotland, also our supervisor or our thank oversight. We, want to, we really want to thank you for praying. We want to thank Ian Johnson here from Pocono, who was praying for us. And then all of our families, um, you know, my mum and my brother came to look after our dogs. I really appreciate that. Nicola and her mum came yeah. over to us in hospital. We yeah, really want to thank you for that. that. Was just amazing. Um, we really want to thank the people that supported us, our um, our directors, our family in the home ministries itself. We want to thank every one of you who lifted a prayer or a thought towards us. If you couldn't at that time pray, we just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. That. David sitting here being discharged the next day when they couldn't find anything and we knew something was wrong. We just want to say thank you. We really appreciate that. And now to God be the honor and the glory for his healing and for his faithfulness. So thank you for that. Um, yes, we're not going to be too long today. We just want to say from the bottom of our hearts to wherever you are, we bless you with each and every abundant blessing in the name above all names, the Lord Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach. And he can heal all people. All not people at not all just, places, anytime. Me. And when, we when one or two stand in agreement. In agreement. Yeah. So so be blessed, be encouraged. Um, know that there's a hope wherever you are. If this finds you in your sick bed, know, just know that the Lord Jesus has not forgotten you. The Father sees you. You are engraved in His heart. He He will not He will not leave you where you're at. And be encouraged with our testimony today. We bless you and we thank you with a lot of love from New Zealand. This is David and I, and we just say have a great day, everybody. Thank you, everybody, once again. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Bye bye.